Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. We are visiting our favorite pink zebra gal again. Um, I know that many of you have enjoyed the content I have created reacting to this leader within the multi-level marketing company Pink Zebra, so I'm bringing her back. I have an arsenal of trainings from her that was sent to me by a viewer, and I so, so appreciate you. You know who you are, so thank you so, so much. Now, if you're not familiar with Pink Zebra, they are a multi-level marketing company, network marketing, so many different names for these businesses now, but essentially, in my opinion, they're a pyramid scheme. The products they sell are scented products. They are very similar to Scentsy, but they are kind of like the knockoff MLM of Scentsy. Their products, in my opinion, just aren't great quality. I have seen them in person and I just don't love them. If if you've watched any of my Scentsy videos where they talk about the products, I do say that I think they have a great product. I just don't like the way that they put it out into the world. So for that reason, I just think Pink Zebra, it, it looks like a cheaper knockoff. It really does. So that's what they're known for. Uh, this individual is a super problematic leader. She is not kind to her team. She says some very rude things. And it's been interesting to bring them to light. And I, I hope it's been helpful for people looking into joining Pink Zebra or thinking about joining Pink Zebra and realizing like, hey, this is not all it's cracked up to be. I don't want to be in this. So I hope that's that's what that's doing and also providing entertainment because that's really fun too. Now, I've said this before and I say it again. I do not blur out faces or names of the individuals that I react to in my videos unless they are children. And that's because they have made themselves public figures by joining multi-level marketing companies and promoting their businesses online. This does not mean that I am inciting hate or I am encouraging anybody to go and seek these individuals out and send them nasty messages. Please do not do that. That is not okay. So please don't do it. <laughs> all right. Now, with all of that said, this is a little bit of a longer training. I know some of you like longer videos, some of you don't, and I haven't put a longer video out in a little bit. So here it is. And with all of that said, we're going to get right into it. Hello, team. What is up? What is up? Let me know when you hop on. And um, we're going to chit chat for a minute. We only got how many days left till the end of the month? Somebody let me know and tell me how many days do we have? Not that many, that's for sure. Um, I want to welcome all of you new consultants to our team. Super excited to have you here. If you do not know who I am, my name is Heather and I am an independent manager with Pink Zebra. So um, and this is my actual downline team group. So if you're in this group, that means you are somewhere in my team, which is awesome. It either means that the person that you signed up under added you here or, um, or whatever. That's probably the only reason you got here. So I want to welcome you to our team. I'm super excited to have you here. Um, I've been with Pink Zebra since September of 2017, and it's been an amazing journey. You've made the absolute best choice and decision of um, joining our company because Pink Zebra is absolutely amazing, and it does change lives, truly changes lives. So I just wanted to kind of come and chit chat with you guys. Um, it's totally fine if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. I just like to keep track of who watches and who doesn't. Um, I am logging into my back office right now, and hey, Kayla. So for all of your new con you new consultants, we have a, quite a few of you guys here. Um, your very first quick start is, you um, have a couple of quick starts, your first, second, and third. So your first- I just realized that her backdrop is the exact backdrop that I had <laughs> when I was in LuLaRoe. That's like where I took all my pictures of the clothes and stuff, which by the way, I'm trying to dig up some some of my old posts from LuLaRoe to make a reaction video. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find them all, but I'll keep you posted. Anyway, that was totally off topic. I'm sorry, we'll get back into it. First quick start should be your very first goal in your new business, right? So your first quick start is to sell $500 within your first 30 days, okay? So from your join date, you have 30 days to sell $500 and then you meet your first quick start. And what do you get for that is you get $75 in pink dollars to purchase whatever you want with. So this is a huge goal for your very first, you know, your first starting out in your business. You really want to focus on that goal. Except you don't own 
your own business when you join a multi-level marketing company. What you do when you join a multi-level marketing company is sign a contract that essentially says you are a 1099 employee. So you are a sales employee that they have contracted out. You are not a business owner. If you were a business owner, you would have say in the marketing material you put out, the marketing verbiage that you use, um, the sense that are created, all of those things. You would have control over them, but you're playing pretend. And like I said in a past video recently, multi-level marketing companies are a lot like school fundraisers. Like you're going and asking all of your friends and family to purchase from you, but you're adding a recruiting aspect. And you also have like, remember the little uh, brochure you would get in the school fundraisers where you could get like keychains and speakers and toys and all different things like instead of those things you're getting bonuses and incentive trips or things like beach chairs which Sensi just did an incentive for so it's just very much like a fundraiser you do not own a business when you join an MLM you really want to try to meet that goal by all means and and try to really plan and start now because you don't have to have your kid in order to start actually um, planning to meet this goal. So I have a couple of recommendations. Um, you can kind of tweak these recommendations to fit your lifestyle or whatever it may be. Um, this does play a part into how you plan on um, marketing your business. So this is your business and you can market it however it is that your lifestyle really, really um, accommodates your lifestyle basically. So either you wanna market through Facebook mostly or vendor events or all or in-home parties or any of that stuff. So however it is that you would like to, um, you know, whatever it is that your lifestyle, that fits your lifestyle, how you wanna market your business is totally up to you and that's the, the beauty in owning your own business, right? So a couple of pointers, um, it's super exciting. We wanna be here in this group to help you, to motivate you and to answer any questions here. So we're very close knit here. Um, I'm sure you was added to several other groups when you joined and it's a little overwhelming at the beginning but don't worry you'll soon catch on. Just know that our group is a little smaller than Lori's group, hers is larger and then of course you're, you're going to be in your direct uplines group and she is there to help you and sponsor you and help you with every step of the way. I did post in our albums under new consultant there's some, some little things you might want to review. Um, I also newly I add the chain of command so just kind of uh, for you guys who know like in the corporate world and same thing here this is a business this is how um, we plan to do business and is the best way to actually do your business is to always follow the chain of command if you need help or you, you there's anything that you need done or advice or simply anything you always want to go to your direct upline your direct sponsor the person that you trusted in that you wanted to join um, their team with them you want to go directly to them and if they, um, I'm sure that they're going to get the help that you need. And if for some reason they do not, um, you know, then uh, you can go up to the next step. So I do have instructions and albums under new consultant on how to find out who is your next in charge and who is your next go-to person. So it's very important to review that. So that way, you know, um, you should never have to go over three levels above who you signed up under. I feel like that is unheard of and I don't really think you'll ever need to do that. But just know everyone in here is helpful and sometimes your sponsor is busy and we do have other lives we do have children and jobs and things like that so that's what this group is for it's for us to communicate motivate each other pump each other up and celebrate everybody's achievements together and um and never let anybody get discouraged right because we want to be a, a powerful team that is going to be super successful and we want everybody to be um to, to meet all of their goals right so don't ever hesitate to share um, there's more people, you know, your direct up, your direct sponsors group is going to be the smallest group you're in. And then, um, and as you're added to other groups, those are going to be a little bit larger, a little bit larger and a little bit larger. So you're playing with a larger pool of people and sometimes that can help. So keep that in mind. Um, I am trying to log into the back office right now, but it's acting crazy for me right this second. I think it's the iPad because it's been doing that forever. So a couple of pointers. If anybody has any questions at any time, just let me know. Um, but I want to focus on that that first quick start, how important it is. It's going to boost your business tremendously. tremendously. It's going to make or break your whole um, mindset. It's going to either pump you up and it's going to give you like this confidence boost that you need or it's going to suck you down into that deep dark hole that we don't want to happen, right? So it's never too early to plan. It's never too early to start. And you want to know 
you know, you want to meet your goal. We know that. This is your business. You invested some money in here into this business that you want to be successful at. And, and of course, you love the product. So you definitely want to get some, some good products and you want to share these products with all of your friends, your family, your neighbors, your coworkers, everyone that you come in contact with, your whole Facebook family. Like Everybody you ever come in contact with, the grocery store clerk, the mailman, the mechanic, everybody you come in contact with, you want to share this with them. You want to sell that to them and then after that, probably try to recruit them. <laughs> like forever. The list never, ever stops, okay? So a couple of pointers. To meet that $500 in sales volume, um, which we call SV, is um, within your 30 days, you want to, number one, plan. You want to plan. How are you going to get there? What's your plan to make it to $500 in sales in 30 days? What is your plan? Um, everybody's plan is different. Everybody's business is different and everybody's lifestyle is different. Wipe it with that towel over there. Hold on one second. Why are you crying? This is the second video she did this in where she walks away from the camera, which is fine. Like tend to your children. But like, why are you crying? <laughs> Ma'am, you are on camera. to maybe help you guys and see what um, advice I can give because I want all of your teams to succeed. Um, so mainly, here you go. This is what I have. So if you if you want to meet a goal, you basically have to break it down, right? Because we're starting from zero and we want to get to 500 in 30 days. So we really need to plan on how to get there and we really need to know we want it to be reachable. We don't want to come up with a plan that's not reachable and something we cannot do. I put them all in the garage somewhere in that little cubby hole by my de by my desk thing uh, where the spray paint was so basically you want to break it down okay so um if you think about hold on a second i'm so sorry what a disaster i don't think <laughs> i don't think any other training i've reacted to on my channel has been this dysfunctional like there's tech issues and things like that but if you're going to get interrupted during your team call on a Facebook Live, then maybe like do it at a different time. I don't know. Or just don't do it at all. <laughs> it's just so bizarre. Like, uh, I'll be right back. I'm sorry. Or record it and then put it up. All right, y'all. I am a normal human with kids and stuff like that. So, you know. So basically, um, here's what I came up with. You're free to use, free to tweak it however you want, free to say, you know what? I don't want to do that because I don't think it's going to work. That's totally up to you. But I'm here to provide you with some tools to help you maybe achieve that goal or give you somewhere to start, okay? So here's the deal. In my mindset is, now I've reached, when I started, I reached all three of my quick starts, okay? Just gonna throw that history out there to you. So, and there's a lot of people that do meet all three of their quick starts, okay? So here's the deal. Here's what I came up with. I'm thinking if you need to sell $500 in 30 days, what is the best way and the efficient way um, to plan that out? Well, um, we can do several things. We can sell like, what, 50 jars of sprinkles in 30 days. We can um, just hope that we get there by posting pictures. That's a, that's a method everybody likes to use. Let's just post about Pink Zebra and maybe we'll get there. Um, so, and sometimes by luck, you get there. But if you really, really want to get there and you really, really want to make certain that you do get there, you're going to plan it out just perfect. So here's what I have. A Dollar Tree, a Dollar Tree board, dry erase board, and some Dollar Tree sticky notes. So you're going to get your kit of all this wonderful Pink Zebra products. You're going to get 
um, eight cartons of sprinkles, a candle kit, a simmering light. You're gonna get all of these great tools in your kit, okay? Um, if you're a Facebook Live type of person, wonderful, because you are going to kill it doing this. If you are not a Facebook Live type of person, I highly encourage you to try it. Try going out of your comfort zone, get out there, and you can reach so many people for your new business going through Facebook um, rather than going one by one in your community, okay? So 30 days is, is not a lot of days. So you wanna reach as many people as possible in a short period of time that you most possibly can, right? Like we wanna get this done in 15 days so we don't have to worry about it, right? So here's the deal, guys. If you go live on Facebook and you show and you do a launch party on Facebook and you just get there and say, hey everybody, my name is Heather and I got some great news. I just joined a wonderful, awesome home fragrance company with exquisite wax melts that's not- I wouldn't call their wax melts exquisite. They're, that's just my opinion. I'm just saying. Non-toxic, it's soy based, it's safe for your pets, your family, your little ones in the house. You know, it gives you a peace of mind that if, if their hands get into this stuff, I don't need to panic. Um, it also burns so much longer. So, I mean, you're going to save a ton of money switching to Pink Zebra. Let me tell you all about it and show you everything, um, all the benefits and why I love it, right? So you're gonna have your kit. Now you can show all of your sprinkles, which I have mine behind me. Um, you can show all of those sprinkles that you got in your kit. You can make a candle. You can do all of these things live on Facebook and reach so many people, right? So I like to always open it, show them, get close. I know you can't smell it, but if you get close enough to the camera, they can almost smell it. They can almost want to smell it, right? Don't you want to smell it when something is so close like that? I always get really close. And I always try to show exactly how our consistency of our sprinkles, right? Because what are people gonna do? What are people gonna do while they're scrolling on Facebook and they're seeing your wax melts? They're gonna stop, they're gonna stop scrolling because this isn't a person anymore, this is a person doing something. This is a person that's doing something. What is she doing? They're gonna I'm also doing something. And people don't always stop their scroll because I'm doing something. This is a person doing something. I am so sorry. I can't, like, I can't help myself. It's just some of the things that these women say, specifically her, it's just so outlandish. Like, person doing something. Oh my God. People do something? People do things. This is mind blowing. Stop scrolling and they're gonna wanna know what is this person doing, right? Boom, you got them to stop. That's a huge goal, that's a success. Like that's a win, you need to celebrate that, okay? That's a viewer, and we want viewers. Okay, so talk about Pink Zebra. Explain what it is, explain why you love our home fragrance versus other home fragrances. Um, sorry guys, my ear is like totally itching. Okay, so, and all of that good stuff. Show how you can make a candle with it, show your simmering light. Um, show a recipe, mix a recipe. You're gonna have everything you need to mix a recipe. Show them how um, Pink Zebra Wax Melt is soy based and it's blendable. It's, it's created for you to create your very own scents and it's just incredible. The options are endless with Pink Zebra. So you wanna explain all of these items. You wanna definitely type in your, your website. Your website, put that in your description of your, when you looking at this live and you see that you tap on my face and it pops up and it says what? New consultants and recruits or something like that. That's where you want to put your website. Whatever your website is, link it there, okay? So when you're live and you're talking all about Pink Zebra, you want to let them know, hey, look, I just started this new business and I am loving Pink Zebra. I have been loving it. Um, and I have, this, I have this goal. And my goal is to reach $500 um, in the next 30 days, okay? And I, I'm going to do it, right? So make a visual. This is my visual. You can do your own visual or you can use this. You can use mine. You can do exactly what I'm doing. It doesn't matter. Um, but I know that if I sell... 10, um, if I sell 10 $50 orders, that's going to be my $500 um, in my first 30 days, right? So that's simplified to me. And it's simplified for people that are watching you too. So, hey, look, listen here. I'm playing a game. This is what you do. You have all your sprinkles from your kit, right? Now, you can make some giveaways. Maybe do four jars or four blending bags of sprinkles. That's equivalent to four jars of sprinkles. Um, set it up as like a giveaway. That can be like a bundle giveaway, a party giveaway, or however much you want to do. Um, and you let them know, look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have a pink zebra party right here online. I'm going to explain to you all about the products. And 
everyone who purchases today a $50 order will get to pick a number off of my prize, off of my, um, whatever you want to call this board. You can call it whatever you want. Be creative. Um, prize board. And what I'm going to do is behind each of these numbers is another number. And that number represents how many times your name is going to be entered into our giveaway. Right? Our giveaway that's a value of $50. Because if you do five jars of sprinkles for free, that's a $50 value of a giveaway. Right? So, and you can go, and as soon as all numbers are claimed and entries are entered, I'm gonna do this giveaway. So let's get it all sold, guys. Let's get all of these tickets gone, so that way we can do our huge prize bundle giveaway. Um, now, you can set it up however you want. What's a $50 order? I mean, that can leave your customers wondering, or your viewers wondering, well, what can I buy for $50? Or, I don't have $50, like, I don't, $50, home fragrance, no way. And then they just go and exit, right? They are like, I'm not watching this anymore, and I don't want anything to do with this person. So, I personally think that it's a great idea to say, hey, here's what I'm going to do. You want to be as specific as possible, as possible, and then you can tweak it a little bit. So you can say, here's the deal. The first 10 people to purchase a starter home, a, a starter pink, a pink zebra starter bundle. There we go. Pink zebra starter bundle for me, a $50 pink zebra starter bundle for me, will get to choose a number, a spot, and behind that spot will we'll determine how many entries you're going to get into our $50 giveaway. And what's a starter bundle is, it's a simmer pot or a simmering light and two jars of sprinkles. So you're gonna get your simmer light, simmering light or your simmer pot, any one you wanna choose, and two jars of sprinkles of your choice. And that will get you to pick a number. So what is that total? A simmer pot and two jars of sprinkles is $50, right? So here we go. This is when you say, go to my website. It's in the description of this video. Go place your order, you can pick any simmer pot and any two jars you want. You're gonna get free shipping as long as you spend over $50. And you're gonna come back to my video, pick a number, and if you pick that number, this one has a number five on it, you get your name is gonna be into my $50 bundle giveaway five times. You get five entries, congratulations. You're gonna put that down and you're gonna keep waiting. Who's gonna be next to purchase my next starter bundle? We still have nine spots available. Who's gonna do this as soon as we get all of our spots gone, we're gonna do our giveaway. She makes it sound like there's gonna be so many people on your live and there's gonna be such a great turnout. People are so exhausted from this type of thing, especially since the vid. Like if you go to TikTok live or anything live right now, there's so many people that go on there and they're constantly trying to sell you. So this is not going to turn out as well as she's making it sound to her team. And she's conveniently leaving that part out. I always encourage people to do a ton of research before they actually decide to join an MLM. I really hope that nobody ever decides to join an MLM, but there's always going to be people who do decide to join an MLM. And you should really go through all of social media and see what how many people are going live and selling and how many people are posting about these products and what does their interaction look like? Is their interaction shit? Because if it is, that's a red flag. Do not do it. Don't do it. Run for the hills. This is creating urgency, excitement, fun, entertainment. People are going to love it. Okay, so totally recommend doing this. I would encourage them to go online their self and place their order as long as there's no errors in the errors online, okay? Because you want them to go to your website. This is your, you are setting the trend for your business right now. Do you want your business to require you putting in everybody's order all the time? Because remember, life changes. And just because you have time today to input everybody's order does not mean you have time tomorrow or next week or when life changes. And you don't want your business to sink because your life changed. That's not fair. So, start your business off right. Get them to go to that website. Teach them how to order online. For one, you're gonna get them in your system. Guess what? After they order online and create a profile, they're gonna receive all Pink Zebra emails, all promotions, all emails, and um, they're gonna be the first to know. Okay, so then that's gonna give them future, sometimes they don't see your post on Facebook. Facebook is silly and it just doesn't allow them to see your post. It's just silly like that. Facebook is silly or people just don't want to see that shit. If it's not like that's an algorithm. 
That's how the algorithm works. If people don't want to see it, if people don't interact with posts like that, they're not going to get pushed out. And more likely than not, people are not interacting with posts like that, so they don't get pushed out. <laughs> so, you know, you're going to get that out there. They're going to get that email. They're going to see the promotions, and they're going to consistently buy from you because their, their email takes them directly to your website, okay? And you're, they're going to see all of your products. Except not just seeing what you're showing them on Facebook all the time. They're going to see it for what Pink Zebra spends tons of money, tons of money on as a, as a huge business owner that they are. They have beautiful images of our, of our products, of our, of our accent shades, of our sprinkles, of you know, our soaps. There's so much more in, on that website than what we can show. And that's just the truth. So you want them to go there and you want them to shop and you want them to see. You want them to see that nice banner on our website that just slides with all our promotions and our blend badge and all of these vibrant colors. You want them to go there. You want them to go there. So I suggest you you keep you tell them, whoever goes on our website right now and makes a, makes this purchase, you get to pick pick any of your simmer pots and, and, and sprinkles and whatnot. As soon as I see your, your order has been verified in my system, I will allow you to pick a number and I cannot wait to see how many entries you're going to get into our giveaway. So. Smile big, go live, you're going to touch so many more people on Facebook and you're going to see that sometimes your biggest supporters are not your family and not your friends and not your coworkers, not the people you know, but they are going to be the people that you don't know. Those are going to be your biggest, your biggest supporters and that's where you want to go. That's where you want to go. You want Pink Zebra to build your relationships and find your relationships. You don't want your relationships to build Pink Zebra because that's not a good foundation to start, okay? So if you're expecting your family, your friends, and everyone to support your business, don't because your feelings will get hurt. It doesn't always happen that way. So this is huge for me. I think that this will work. Um, you can totally tweak it however you want and change it and make it create it however you want to create it, but it's a great guide to say any $10, $50 orders. And the more specific you are, the easier it is for your viewer to know what they need to do to help you. And some people just want to help you succeed. So you want to take that into consideration. If anybody has any questions, please let me know. Comment below. This is just suggestions. This is not a must, but it is a way. It gives you an idea of how to plan for you to meet that first quick start so you can be, oh, okay, sleeping. So you can be successful at your business and then you're going to get that 75 pink dollars, okay? If anybody has questions, let me know. Um, second thing that I want to talk about is recruiting. All of that for $75 to spend on Pink Zebra. That feels like a lot of work. How many hours is it going to take? Probably a lot. So we still have our special going on until the 29th, okay? So it doesn't matter how long you've been in this business. This might be, you might not have, have even gotten your kit yet. It doesn't matter. You can be a leader. You can be a leader and you can recruit new consultants. And let me just tell you, within your first 90 days, everyone that you recruit, if they meet their first quick start, guess who also gets pink dollars? You. Only if they join within your first 90 days. So if you start today and you recruit three people and all three people meet their quick start, guess how much money in Pink Zebra you're going to get? You're going to get 75, they're going to get their $75 and you're going to get it and you're going to get it times three. That's a lot of money. I did that when I started and I had no clue what was happening, okay? I did not realize what was happening. I didn't, nobody told me that. I was like, what do you mean I get pink dollars? What do you mean? What is that for? Like, why? It just kind of happened, okay? So focus on that. And you don't have to be a professional at a pink zebra business. You don't have to be that to recruit people. I want to stress that. You do not have to be a pink zebra professional to recruit people to our business. You just don't. You just don't. I just want you to know that. We have a whole team of people here in this group that are willing to help your, your team and who you recruit and you. So while this special is going on, go ahead. It's super easy. Um, you know, I always say kit snappers, welcome. Kit nappers are welcome all the time because I was one and now I'm a Pink Zebra manager um, making pretty decent income with a team of awesome ladies that I don't know how I could live without. So kidnappers in my book are always welcome. I encourage them to purchase the kit just to get all that, that great stuff. Key is if you, they are a kidnapper, you still add them to our groups. You still add them to this group and your uplines group, whoever it is, all of our leaders groups, you want them to be on there because that's what's going to transform them from a kidnapper to your top seller. And what do you... Uh, if you're not familiar with that term, the kidnapper term, she's not saying kidnapper, she's saying kidnapper. Uh, those are what a lot of multi-level marketing companies refer to the consultants that sign up only to get the kit. They call them kidnappers. 
So ridiculous. They paid for it. They didn't steal it. <laughs> what do you get when you recruit someone? Does anyone know? Anyone know what you get when you recruit someone? What do you get when you recruit someone? Somebody tell me if you know. Nobody knows? Or we don't have any comments? I probably might not be seeing comments. I might not be seeing comments. Or you guys just don't know. A kidnapper! Tiffany was a kidnapper. I was a kidnapper. Tiffany. I'm trying to plug this in. Okay. Um, also, our points. Our points, y'all. Our points for our... Um, oh, wait. Squirrel. Sorry. A little bit distracted. What do you get when you recruit someone? You earn 6% of their sales. You earn 6% of their sales. Anyone you recruit, it's going on until the 29th, Kayla. 29th. You earn 6% of their sales. So anyone that you recruit, you will earn 6% of their sales too in income, right? So, hello, recruit. Get everyone in because it's a great plan to get all of this stuff for like super duper cheap, huge deal. And um, all you need to do to earn that 6% of your team is sell $400. Recruit because it's a pyramid scheme. <laughs> and yes, you can be a pyramid scheme with a product. So anytime you hear network marketers or multi-level marketers saying that, we have a product, so we're not a pyramid scheme. According to the FTC, a pyramid scheme can also sell a product. So don't let that bullshit fool you. So this is what it means when you hear, are you leadership qualified? Leadership qualified is $400 in sales. That way you can receive your team's income. Um, that's right. Who's going to go to the Virgin Islands? That receive your team's income. Oh, it sounds so bad. That is our, that is our trip this year. Guess who earned the Ireland trip last year? Me, I did. Guess what dummy didn't go? Me, I didn't. So, whatever. I earned the Ireland trip last year, which was huge excitement for me. And anybody who really knows me knows that, no, I didn't go to it. I passed on it. I just passed and said, no, I won't go. I'm not going to go this year. But, um, which was really hard to do. But at the same time, if you know who I am. That's my number one place to vacation on my bucket list why wouldn't you go there <laughs> wow all that work so imagine how much work she put in to recruit all of the people to bs everybody into joining and selling all of her pink zebra garbage in my opinion and then she didn't even go what was it for like when you decide that you're not going to go on that incentive trip that you worked so hard for like hours on end and days on end and then you decide not to go. It's just weird. That's a little strange to me. I am a very down to earth kind of whatever type of person. And to me, just knowing I earned it, just earning it was enough for me. That was enough for me. I was excited. I cried a lot because I actually earned something I thought was impossible. Heather cannot earn a trip out of the country. Are you kidding me? Like a free trip? You're kidding me? No, it's true. It happened. It happened. And just because it happened, it was, it was totally like, that was enough for me. Getting the email saying I earned it was enough for me. So, for sure, there has to be more to that story. So, so I just want you guys to know it's super possible. Um, the guidelines are way more simplified than last year. So I know a ton of you on this team is going to earn it. Um, you can earn the trip for one or you can earn it for two. Um, I earned it for one. That's why I didn't go. If I would have earned it for two, me and Matthew would have been in Ireland in a heartbeat. Let me just tell you. We would have been sleeping in that castle, boo-boo. We would have been sleeping in that castle. But this year, if I earn the trip for one, I'm going. Because I know y'all are going. So last year, none of y'all earned the trip that was in my direct downline team. None of you. This year, I know y'all have grown tremendously. I am super excited and pumped. I'm ready to party. I'm that feels like she's shaming them. None of you in my direct downline, none of you earned the trip. Call them out on a live training, why don't you? Rude. I'm ready to go to the Virgin Islands with all y'all. So I want every, I am focusing on helping all of y'all's teams. I have one recruit out of this special. One recruit. That is terrible. That is not good for me. I should be having 10, okay? I am so bummed out about it, but it doesn't matter because all of you are recruiting and what's important is I want to help y'all get the trip, okay? I want y'all to help. I want to help y'all get the trip and y'all deserve it and I'm going to do everything I can to help everybody earn this trip. So what's so important? Yes, it was you, Kayla. 
it might have been one, but it's not quantity, it's quality. So we got a quality recruit. I got a quality recruit, which is Kayla. So, and I'm so happy to have you, Kayla. I'm so happy to have you. Finally, finally. How long has she, finally, how long has she been bothering her? <laughs> um, so here's the thing. How to simplify everything and just say, this is how my brain works. So that's how I'm going to spit it out at you. To earn this trip, what you want to do is you have till February to earn it. It starts now. It's been, it, it started. What you want to do is you want to recruit everyone. <laughs> you want to recruit everyone. Children, parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, mechanics. <laughs> you want to talk about the opportunity every single chance you get. Do you want to be pushy? No, because people run away from pushy people. And when you push someone, they back off. You don't want to push them away. You just want to mention the opportunity. Hey. Here's the deal. Have you ever tried Pink Zebra, Pink Zebra um, home fragrance? Give them some samples. Love them up. Love them up first. Love them. Build a relationship with them. Get to know them as a person. And then, boom, hey, here's an opportunity um, that I just ran into. And I think you might be interested. Or whatever it is, you always want, if you're live on Facebook or you're posting on Facebook, don't just only post about the sprinkles and how good sprinkles are. Also post about our opportunity and our business side of things and how you can make an income from Pink Zebra and how you can meet a ton of people. Um, and let's see, four new people joined, let's see. The touching six to eight times got me one new order. Four new people joined my group. Wow, and someone today asked me if she can do an in-home party. I know it doesn't sound like much. No, that is a huge deal, Angie. That is a huge deal. That is huge. Everyone's successes are different, and we are here to celebrate it, okay? My, your first, you know, everybody's, everybody's business is different. So your first chapter is not going to be the same as my 15th chapter, so, or somebody else's 10th chapter, okay? Your first chapter of Pink Zebra is just not going to be the same as somebody's 20th chapter. It's just not going to happen that way. So every little everything. Do you know that when you comment on someone's on someone's post that if you if you comment with a question and not just a comment, not just a um I love your hair um or that's really cute. If you comment with I really like your hair, where did where did you get it done? And that allows that person to comment back to you and say, "Oh, I went to blah blah blah." That you just built that Facebook relationship right there. So that way now. Yes, such a deep relationship. I have fallen into a matrix and I don't know how to get out. <laughs> you have built a relationship because you commented on somebody's post and asked them where they got their hair done. I don't. Huh? That person is going to see your post, whereas they may have never saw your post before because y'all have never built that Facebook relationship. Facebook is funny and they know it knows what you want to see and what you don't want to see. So if you have no interaction with some people on Facebook, you will never see their posts and they will never see yours. Does that make sense? So you always want to comment and try to encourage that other person to comment back to you so you can get more um, interaction so they can see your posts, right? And are you gonna go to someone that you barely talk to and say, hey, would you like to join Pink Zebra? We have a special going on and I think you would really like to join it. No. That person is going to think you're strange, weird, and a creeper. So don't do that. Definitely build your relationships. It starts today. It starts now. You know, you want to at least touch, like we said um, before, about eight times before they're actually going to trust in you and your product. So be genuine, be honest, be you, and it's going to come. It's going to come to you, and you're not without any effort, just like Angie said, you know. The more that you you kind of just be a good person, people are gonna just trust your opinion to where you don't have to throw your product in people's face and be like, here, this is the best thing ever. You know, it's better than everything. No, no. Little posts like, oh, it feels so good to finally be home on Friday to a fresh home. Leave that post out there. Make people wonder, what is that? What is she talking about a fresh home? Let them wonder. Your next next day, post something else along those lines, you know? You know, oh, I really had some trouble sleeping. Thank goodness for this lavender. Hello, people who have trouble sleeping are going to want to know what you're talking about. And they're going to comment. And they're going to say, girl, what lavender? Oh, girl, let me message you real quick. 
Are they though? There's so many different, like, they're probably not. They're just like, oh, cool. She's using lavender. That's cool. They're expecting so much from these posts and comments that they're putting out and people just don't, not to be rude, but to be blunt, don't care. They don't care. I have these lavender sprinkles and they're called Relax and um, it really, really helps me sleep at night. And girl, I love it. Oh, really? I, you have some? Yeah, I have some. Well, can I try it? Of course. Of course you can. I have a jar for $10. Sure, I'll buy it. You want to encourage those people to want to know what you're doing. They want to know what you're using. You want it to be their idea to try it, not your idea for them to try it. Does that make sense? So, you know, be genuine, but then be honest and, and, and just express how you feel. That's how it always comes natural. That's how it came natural to me when I first started and how everything blew up so quickly with my business and my team grew so fast and it was just crazy. And that was because I was being honest. I just love home fragrance. I love Pink Zebra. I still love Pink Zebra. I will never use any home fra other home fragrance again. It's long lasting. I love mixing. I love the little beads. I know it might sound silly, but I think it's cute. I love our packaging. I think it's adorable. Um, and it might sound silly, but that's why I love it. I love it for so many reasons. And now I love it for the business side of things because our founders are incredible. This whole company is awesome. I've met so many different people. It's changed me as a person. It's changed my financial situation. We were able to go on vacation just on Pink Zebra money. How awesome is that? Um, it's just all around great. But even when I first started, you know, I love Pink Zebra. I love changing my scents. When I changed them, I posted about it and I talked about it and I took pictures and oh, when you're sitting on your couch at night and you have your warmers lit up and they're gorgeous and you just love that new shade that you got, post the picture while you're sitting on your couch. Oh, nothing like this view. You don't need to say Pink Zebra, Pink Zebra, Pink Zebra. You just say, feels so good to be on my couch with your picture of your warmers. Over time, in time, people are gonna want to know what it is. They're gonna wanna know, you know, wow, every time this woman, this lady posts her about her, her house, it's always got these beautiful, festive things that want going on in her home. You know, let me get with her. So, guys, be genuine, be smart, plan, 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 and you're gonna love this new business that you just joined. You're gonna be so excited. And let me just tell you, don't be down on yourself if sometimes you're trying and you're trying and you're trying and you're not getting any interaction. Maybe you go live and nobody's even watching you. Um, do not, do not let that discourage you. Let me tell you again, do not let that discourage you. Most people watch your replay. Um, I just recently was told the other day by someone that um, I'm like, do you even watch my videos? And they go, yeah, I stopped watching them because you keep calling my name out and it startles me. Like, I, I don't I don't really like that. Oh, I didn't know. I, I thought people like when you say, oh, hey, hey, Tiffany, thanks for joining. Hey, Angie, thanks for joining us. Some people don't like that. And so they purposely do not click on your live video while you're live because they don't want you to call them out. They don't want you to know they're watching. They don't want other people to know they're, wa you're, they're watching. Some are just creeped out by it, and some people, oh God, Kayla, you're asking the wrong one, sister. You're asking the wrong one. So, some people just don't want you to call their name out. They just don't. I wonder what that person asked her. I don't have the chats to these trainings, but I'd be curious to see what that person was asking her, where she's like, you're asking the wrong one. Was it a pink zebra business question or was it just a random ass question? I guess we'll never know. Well, that put me in a situation. I really thought, you know, and this person was just being honest with me. Like, yeah, I don't like when you do that. I don't, I don't want you know, they weren't being ugly about it, but it made me think like I took it very, very serious because that's important to my business. That's important to me. What's important to me is I don't want people, I'm on here live and I'm wanting viewers. I want the most viewers ever. And to hear that because I said your name out loud, how many other people feel that way that aren't viewing me live because of that? So that made me rethink myself. Maybe I need to stop. And I told her, I said, girl, I will never call your name out again. That's no problem. Like I totally understand. And I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable at all. So by all means, I don't want, you know, but how many people are not going to tell you that? They're not going to tell you that. They're going to literally wait till you get off of your live and you're not live anymore to go watch the replay. That way you don't know one, you don't know they watched two, you're not going to call them out and let every, the whole world know that they're watching. Um, people are just funny like that. Some people love it and some people don't. So um, keep that in mind. Just, I don't know if, how to fix the problem. I'm just giving you advice. Keep that in mind. 
Maybe some lives don't scream anybody's name and see if your viewers go up. Maybe never tell anybody their name um, when they have one. You know, I, I don't know. Um, maybe if you don't talk to people, I don't really know. You just feel out your people and don't be discouraged. Most of all, don't be discouraged if you don't have a lot of viewers. Because like I said, those people may just be passing up your video and they are definitely going back to watch the replay. Um, don't try to be a fake person. Go live and be yourself. Be yourself, be honest, be nice, be courteous, and just be yourself. Be you and um, be genuine and, you know, let people know why you love Pink Zebra. You joined this business for a reason and it's because you love our products and you love Pink Zebra's wax melts or soaks or everything or, or accent shades and everything. So, you know, be honest with everyone and, and just let them know why you love it, why you personally love it. Nothing is better to me than an honest review. An honest review, I don't want to see your corporate infomercial. I want to see a real person tell me what they think. Like, what do you think? What do you think about this product? I want to know what a real person like me thinks. Not, not some infomercial. I can see that on TV or I can read it in a catalog, okay? So, um, definitely... If you have any questions, let me know. I think that's a mouthful for now and today. I do want you new um, consultants to focus, focus, focus on your goal and your quick start goal and recruiting if you are wanting to become a leader and make more money and more income um, and get that responsibility of helping others because that is the most rewarding part of this business. I feel like is reward is, is the rewarding feeling of helping other people succeed. I mean, I can't tell you how excited I am for all of you under me that are totally being successful and I don't need to hear that, oh, Heather told me this, Heather taught me how to do this. I don't need to hear that. The, the, the proof is in the numbers, the proof is in the recruits, the proof is in your business growing and that's all I need to see for me to be satisfied. I don't need the credit. I don't need anyone to tell me, Heather, it's because of you. You don't need to tell your teammates it's because of Heather. It's, that's not important. What's important is you did your job and you got where you wanted to be and you met your goal and I am excited that you did that. Um, and I just wanna, I just wanna do say, don't lose your confidence. Know that you can do it. Don't compare yourself to others. That is not it. <laughs> Don't lose your confidence because I am going to bash you every chance I get on all of the other trainings you come to. It's so funny to see her tone change from the other videos that I've reacted to in the past because on those videos, she was not very nice. She was rude AF to her team. So... I don't know, maybe she should uh, listen to herself because she is definitely, in my opinion, causing damage to people's psyche with the way she talks to her team that are not new team members. Important, never compare yourself to others. Everybody is different and everybody's business is different. Your successes and celebrations may be different from somebody else's and that is okay. That is what makes everybody different and special and business, and business different and ran differently. That's why you're an independent consultant and you can run your business how you want to. Um, you know, so never get down on yourself and just know consistency is the key. Even if you're getting no interaction, no one's asking questions and nobody even seems like they give a crap about what you're posting, don't stop. Do not stop because that tells them that you really didn't like the product to begin with and that makes them win because they don't really believe the product is everything it's, you're saying it is. That's why they didn't buy it yet. Because if they believed you, they would have bought it. Because we're saying everything that's great about it, right? Um, so, you know, be consistent. Let people know this is not a joke. Like, this is not just, I'm not just trying to make money. I'm actually trying to help you. Because this burns cleaner for your family. It's um, better for people with allergies. Like, it's non-toxic. You can use these sprinkles, like, around your animals. You can, sp you can put sprinkles in your kitty litter. You can spray your dog with soap. So let me just tell you, I have a best friend who breeds dogs, um, standard poodles, and I cannot tell you, before she, before the owners come to pick up those puppies, she sprays them with a soak. No. <laughs> what? What? Even if it's non-toxic, don't be spraying dogs with that. And putting it in kitty litter? No, no. So I've had, I grew up with cats. We had cats up until I think like four or five years ago. Like I lived with cats forever, every year of my life. And anytime, like even if you change the kitty litter, sometimes the cat will be like, no. And they'll go next to the cat box. So I can't imagine what a cat feels when you're putting pink zebra sprinkles in their kitty litter. Please don't do that. Please don't take this advice. 
And every single person, I'm not even kidding, every, I'm not exaggerating, every single person that has picked up a puppy from her, weeks later, messaged her and asked, what did you put on that dog? It still, he still smells amazing. Oh, I sprayed some pink zebra products on him. A scented company's products. Like, no. <laughs> no. Leave the animals alone. These soaks are incredible. Don't forget about soaks. Um, and those are the things that's going to prove that, let me just tell you, our products are like none other. And once you try it, I promise you will love it. So use your kit for samples. I, I'm a planner. I'm a planner. So if I am going to do something and I'm gonna give away samples, I usually say to myself, or whatever, write it down or whatever, I'm gonna designate such and such amount of sprinkles for samples. Boom, That's what, that way I know I don't go overboard. I'm not giving everything away. Um, Cause you know, sometimes you give some samples away and it really wasn't even that many, but in your mind, you're like, I'm giving everything away, I can't do that, no. Make sure you know, this is how much I'm giving, I'm gonna use the samples. I'm gonna use um, a whole carton for samples. And you can mix it up, you can do, you know, a jar of this, a jar of that, and a jar of that quantity. Of, that's what I'm going to use for samples. That's what I have available for samples. And once that's gone, I'm out. Um, so I like to do that to make sure that I know I'm not just giving away stuff. Um, what else? What else? What else? Any questions or other than what can you name your business? Because that's the hardest question that I cannot answer for you. <laughs> that is the hardest question for everyone. It's the hardest decision for everyone. And I am the same way. I'm like, I don't know what to name my business. I don't know. I don't even know what to name my own. I can't help you um, with that one. But it's literally anything you want to name it. So there's no wrong name. Just name it what you want and I promise you it will all work out. So any questions about quick starts or anybody just hopping on do not know who the heck this girl is. <laughs> I am Heather and I am your Pink Zebra Manager and this is our downline team. So I am so grateful to have all of you new consultants here. I'm so excited to have you new consultants here. I'm so excited for your new sponsors because they are absolutely amazing and you have chose the perfect sponsor for your business. Everyone here is incredible. And um, I don't know what else to say. Oh, I know what I can say. To those of you that may be watching that maybe have been discouraged about your business, maybe you feel like you failed, or maybe you feel like this is just not cut out for me, or maybe you just gave up. I hate that word. Ugh, I hate that word. I probably, you'll probably never hear me say that again. It's never, I'm speaking to you. It's never that, it's never too late. It's never too late to turn your business around. It's never too late. Um, if you love this product, there's no reason to give up. There's no reason to give up. If you love this product, you're gonna love it whether you sell it, whether people buy it, whether they comment on it, or whether you go a whole month without a sale. You're gonna love this product anyway. Why not, why stop, why stop talking about it? Why stop talking about it? Why stop sharing it? Why stop posting pictures of it? Why? If you love it and you're using it, why stop? Why stop? This goes back to intuition. If your intuition is telling you, like, stop posting about Pink Zebra, I feel annoying, then you're likely your intuition is right. It's it's a sad truth. It's a hard truth to hear. I had to hear it when I finally left Scentsy and then subsequently LuLaRoe. It was like as soon as I kind of turned the corner and was like, I will never join another multi-level marketing company again. The people closest to me were like, thank God, because your posts, I had to mute you. <laughs> Like people are annoyed and at some point if you're sharing so much about the product that you're selling, people are going to stop listening because that's not what they're coming on social media to hear about. It's never too late to turn it around. We have a brand new catalog with amazing products. We have these awesome new cartons like, oh my gosh, this is life. These cartons are life. All I can think about is what I'm going to do with them after I'm empty them because I'm keeping them and I'm going to like use this for something important. But... Go for it. Grab your business back, own it, and go for it. Go for it and tell yourself, I got this. This is not about my business. This is about me. This is about me having love for this product that I'm still using, and I don't care if anybody buys it. They're not going to stop me from sharing it because I know how good it is, and I know when they do try it, they're going to thank me. They will thank me. So, 
however long it's gonna take, however much I have to do just to post a simple picture or go live here or there or do a short, short video of me changing out my sprinkles, I'm gonna do it because you're not gonna stop me from sharing a product that I love and I know if you try it, you're gonna love it too. So it's okay, you can still make Quick Start 2 and Quick Start 3, but I promise Quick Start 1 is easy once you start. Just don't get discouraged. That is so right. Let's see. Who are we responding to? Cammie. I put mine. Don's and St. James. Oh, okay. Y'all talking about other stuff. Okay. All right. So any questions? Any questions? Is anyone discouraged? If you order ahead... Put it in your own party so you earn hostess rewards. You can sell anything you want out of your stock. If you order ahead, put it in your own party. If you order ahead. I don't know what you're replying to, so. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, you can always sell from your own stock. Yes, you can. But your quick start is going to go off of your sales in your back office. So you want to sell. You want to sell online. Um, you want to encourage people to go to your website and check out all these products because... Um, you know, that's what you want to do. And I want to, I want to broadcast here right now. If you do ship anything yourself to someone and it breaks, you are responsible to replace it. If you do not, Pink Zebra will not replace it. Um, Pink Zebra will not replace something that you shipped. If it breaks and you shipped it, you are responsible to replace it. So if you ship a $50 order and that simmer pot is broken, whether that person that received it lied or whether it really got broken on the way to them, you are responsible to replace it because you shipped it. If Pink Zebra ships it, Pink Zebra will replace it with no questions asked and you're not responsible. If you ship it, you have to take your own money and replace it. Remember that, you have to use your own money because let me tell you, put yourself in that person's shoes. It's not their fault that it broke and Pink Zebra does replace things that break if they ship it. They're not responsible for our mistakes if we ship it wrong. They're not responsible for us. So remember that, and I always say to myself, so I want you to say to yourself, before you ship this item, if it gets broken, can you afford to replace it tomorrow? If the answer is no, don't ship it yourself. That's actually what it's like to own a business. You would be responsible for all the shipments and all of the broken products. So yeah. Welcome to being a business owner, since you all want to play pretend and call yourselves business owners. That's all I'm going to say. If the answer is yes, go for it, sister. Ship all day long. Just remember, you can lose customers like that, that you worked very hard to get, if you're doing things that can cause you harm and you won't be able to replace them. Because I know I can't always replace it. I'm going to be honest. I can't replace that. So keep that in mind. Before you start doing it, you know, some people can, some people can't. Sometimes things never break and sometimes they do. You just can't predict it, especially when you're shipping glass. If it's a blending bags and stuff, that's a piece of cake. Ship it, no problem. But if you want to make your life a little bit easier, try to encourage Facebook on, on, your, on your website first. Um, that's what I want to, that's what I'm starting to encourage. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of transforming. I, everybody who knows me knows that I used to ship and I used to do mystery bags and all that. And I still am going to do them. I just am, am starting to turn my business over to the website. Um, I think I spoiled my, my customers from the beginning and I don't want you guys to make that mistake either. You can spoil them when you want to, but don't start it out that way. If I could say anything to change, I wouldn't start it out that way because once you start that, that's all they're going to want to do and they're not going to want to want to order online. So when your lifestyle changes and maybe you're not available that month to do all this shipping and all this stuff and whatever and your sales goes down the drain because your customers are spoiled now and they don't want to click the website anymore, um, you're going to see it crumble and that's not fair to your business and how hard you work. So just keep that in mind. Get a good, good balance. Good balance. Keep it entertaining. Keep it fun. Ship some stuff if you want. Do some giveaways and ship those. But definitely never stop encouraging the website. Never. Never, ever, ever, ever. You will thank me later, I promise. I promise. When you get that surprise order on your website, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I was watching a movie last night and someone just ordered. It happens. It's great. It's a great feeling. So if you guys have any questions down the road, let me know. Don't forget to go look at the new consultant tab. Um, and as soon as I get my head wrapped around the new Blend Bash party thing, I will be doing a, a training on that. Um, any trainings that you guys need help with, let me know. Um, and I will be more than happy to do that. I've been working on a lot of things. 
and then when reunion happened everything kind of changed and now I'm from starting from scratch and trying to figure out the new the new stuff so um do you know how to check your quick starts do y'all know where to go to check your quick starts when is your 30 day mark I think I have that in my new consultant album so go check that out get familiar with your back office you cannot mess anything up so definitely go in there and um, check that out if you are a new consultant your first promotion is executive consultant and all you need is three recruits under you that are active all you need is three people to recruit that you recruited underneath you and they sell $150 in products in one month so it's super doable and that would be your first promotion so I'm gonna go guys thank y'all so much I am so excited and happy to have you guys here um, super excited to see where y'all take y'all business and and how excited y'all are gonna be so I encourage you share your celebrations and your success stories in this group I don't care where you're posting them but you need to post them here first before you post them in Lori's group we need to boost each other up this is our family so if you're gonna post it in Lori's group it best better be in this group too because this is our close-knit family so if you got to copy and paste that bad boy over here post it in here because I'm gonna be crying when I see it on Lori's group and not in our group so post it here because some people I mean there's a lot of people in Lori's group Lori is do you know how many levels Lori is above us a lot a lot a lot a lot there's so many groups and I remember this when I was in my MLMs there was always so many groups because you have your sponsors group usually and then you have your like every level on top of that and then you also have the generic groups for consultants that you pretty much have to join in order to keep up with all of the news and all of the changes and all of the things and it's just it's so many groups how can anybody keep up with us shit? It's too much. So we want to boost our own team members right here too, okay? Don't forget that when you post your success story, you are posting for your own team to strive. So um, post it here and in your direct upline group, but um, I just want to tell y'all, Lori is like, if you go look at your upline tree, I mean, she is way up there that like we have a lot of levels we should be contacting before we get to her, okay? so. Check out the chain of command. Know that we want to grow our team um, right here and in your direct upline group. And um, we want to motivate each other in our tight-knit community, right? Nothing against Lori's group. We love her group. Post it there. I'm just saying. Um, Lori has a lot on her plate as far as running to and asking this and all that stuff. So make sure you're using your proper chain of command and make sure you're supporting our close-knit team because this is our family. This is our family. They're our number one. And we want to have their back first. So, all right, guys, love y'all so much. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and I can't not wait to see all the promotions that are going to take place pretty soon. So, bye, guys. Love you guys. Have a great Saturday. Bye. It was Saturday? It was Saturday. Who the f*** is watching a training on Saturday? <laughs> I didn't realize it was a Saturday. Wow. How many times did I just say Saturday? <laughs> okay, that was our dose of pink zebra. Again, this was sent by a viewer, so thank you again so much for sending this my way. If you have anything that you want me to react to or if you have a story to share, I do leave my email and my Instagram uh, linked below and you can send it my way there. I check both of those very regularly. Anywhere else, I can't promise you'll get a hold of me. <laughs> and as always, thanks for hanging out with me while I talk a bunch of shit and I will see you in the next one.